Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over the new Azir build circling Solve Q and why it's just frankly bad. First, let's show the build. The build revolves around going Nash's first, and this is the core mistake. Let's break it down in terms of math, gold cost per stat to be exact. Here we have the gold cost for both Stinger and Nash's tooth separately. This is important for our examples. The difference between the two items is 1,750 gold for 80 extra AP and 10% CDR. Here's a breakdown of these stats with the CDR being worth 317 gold and the AP being worth 1,740 gold, adding up to a total gold worth of 2,057 gold. Here I have also laid out the efficiency of the passive over 5 auto attacks with 100 AP, granting you 150 damage you would need 50 AP with a value of 1087.5 to achieve this, but you cannot use this passive. Morello's, on the other hand, gives roughly the same stats as Nash's, the 80 AP and the 20% CDR, or 10 extra from Stinger. With Morello's, you are losing 550 gold for 100% base mana regen worth 720 gold, making it already worth the exchange, plus a passive that you can actually use and an extra 10% CDR worth another 317 gold. As shown here in terms of gold efficiency, it would be much more worth it to just buy Stinger and Morello Nomicon than to build the full Nashers tooth. In summary, building Stinger plus Morellas over just Nashers gives an extra 10% CDR and 100% mana regen worth 487 extra gold. Now let's go over what to max now that W has been changed. A lot of people are trying a lot of different things, such as maxing W, getting 3 points in Q, then maxing W, getting 3 points in W, and then maxing Q, etc. I think everyone is close, but not quite there yet. The thing I have found most success with is spreading the points in a unique way. Maxing Q first to rank 3 helps you take lane control and adds poke to your early laning phase. Getting W to rank 3 next will take advantage of your early AP from Morel and Omicon, and will help you get up to the old attack speed levels, helping you CS. Finally finishing off your Q max after that. Other than this variation, I would say to stick with the max in Q and then W, as the attack speed from W is nice but not necessary, but the damage and lane control that Q gives you is quite important. To wrap everything up, the TLDR is basically as usual, everyone is wrong about new Azir builds and build orders. Nothing has changed, pros still suck at coming up with good builds, and I'm still the best. Good luck everyone, stay salty Bjergsen fanboys, and happy drifting.